So basically, when you get your um, tracker, your digital savings tracker, if you want the digital one, all you need to do is just go file and make a copy. When you make a copy, it's going to give you this option here. You can literally go here under edit like the name and you can put your own name. So let's say your name is Skylar. So now we're going to write Skylar or Skylar's Skylar's 2024 Savings Challenge. And once you click make the copy, it will make a copy and then you can edit it. So do not send um, a request access option. It, I, I can't give you that option because you're going to mess up everyone's um, everyone's layout. So you have to make your own copy so that you can edit it without messing up the formulas. Once this part is open, you then have your saving challenges over here. You've got the 10 rand challenge, the 20 rand challenge, the 50 rand challenge, 100, 200, 100 days food stamps. 52 and voucher so this 10 rand challenge is the one that i showed you over here the tracker over here the goal amount as you can see for the tracker here it says 840 but i have set it up to 1500 rand just because i want to save 1500 rand in um, 10 rand which means i might have to do this challenge twice this year so you're going to write that over here so Let's say, for example, the goal amount is 1,000 Rand. Okay, you change it to 1,000 Rand, whatever you want. What will you use it for? So this is important so that you know why is it important for you to carry on with your savings challenges, even though it can seem difficult and hard to save the money, um, but you have to have a why. So I said Christmas extras. Um, so for notes here, yeah, I'm going to write what are those Christmas extras, so like Secret Santa. So at work we have a Secret Santa and also in my family we have a Secret Santa and in the office we have Secret Santas. I have three Secret Santas every single year. So I want to make sure that that is sorted and usually there's a limit. There's like 300 Rand for the office one, I mean the work one, 200 Rand for the office one and the family one is also I think 200 Rand. So in total that is three five seven hundred rand that i need on um secret center by the end of the year and these costs can really catch up to you so maybe it can be like secret center and let's say decoration decorations i have a daughter she loves christmas so i want to get like christmas trees and things like that this year um so decorations and whatever it is obviously you might say something else you might say just back to school and write stationery um, we all have different goals but for me it's for christmas extras this will automatically calculate itself so please don't edit this part here in total this year my goal is to save 67,650 it is a large number a large amount but last year i was able to um, pay off my loan of 50,000 rand. So it's possible if I am intentional about it like how I did last year. Okay, so now let's show you how the dashboard will look. Once you've set up this part here, write your own goal amounts, write what you'll be using it for, um, and what challenge are you using for what goal amount and um, what use. Everything will then be set up on the next dashboard. So dashboard will look um, so it's got all your trackers here so these trackers are these trackers over here so you have nine so six seven eight nine please know that you you don't have to get this because if you have the spreadsheets the budget for premium spreadsheet you really have a savings part this is strictly if you just want a nice tracker for your um, a digital tracker for your challenges if you want that it's fine i'm also going to list this for 100 rand so if you want it you can grab it so everything that i've set up on the previous section will now reflect here so for example if i go back here and i change this 1500 rand to 1000 rand If I go to the dashboard here, it has changed to 1,000 Rand. 
Okay, so I'm going to change it back to 1,500 Rand. And as you can see, it has changed. Now let's go through the rules over here. Remember those yellow flags here? It says, it tells you what to do basically. So there's a flag over here. It says, do not edit this section. Again, it's because you edit it when you set up on, under instructions. And over here as well, it reminds you. So let's say, for example, I have completed my challenges now. I can just tick this box here and it will scratch it off that I have completed this challenge. So everything is automated. Don't edit this part over here. Okay. Then let's have a look at each tracker now. So over here, it's got the pie charts, which will show you how much to go and how much you have saved. And then over here, you've got a date. With the date, all you need to do is just to double tap like that and you can select when you would like to have your 10 rand challenge completed which for me I've put December 16 it's the same for um, my 20 rand challenge so my Christmas one and it's the same for traveling but if I had to change my mind and go mm, for traveling I actually would like to go on a holiday in September now I'll double tap it and I'm gonna find September and I'm going to click on a date and let's say uh, for this week here I'm going to ask for time off the week of heritage day the holiday I'll just click on this Monday here I want to make sure I have the money here so that I can spend it on that day and then the date just changes you don't have to type it out you just need to double click for the goal amount how much you've saved and um, how much left to save and the percentage do not edit this part over here what you will do is this goal amount here is the goal amount here which is the goal amount on the other side if i had to go to instructions again and i change my savings um, goal amount for travel to three thousand rand so i've changed it to three thousand rand i go to my dashboard as you can see it's changed here to three thousand rand and it's changed here to three thousand rand and every time I put money away, so let's say for the month of April, I'm going to save um, 1,000 Rand. All you need to do again with the date is double tap and put the date. So let's say the 4th of April, and then you're going to type it out, of course. So let's say 1,000 Rand, enter. As you can see, the amount has changed here. Left to save has changed here, and the percentage has gone up here. If I remove it, enter, the amount has changed, left to save has changed, and the percentage has changed. Okay, so everything is automated. I don't want you fiddling with anything here and um, messing up the formulas. Um, so yeah, leave it the way it is over here, but obviously with the contributions, def definitely do edit, and with the date, all you need to do is just double tap. And then it's the same, for all the other trackers so whatever you will use your tracker for i mean your savings for so if i had to decide that you know what i'm now no longer going to travel i now want to use this for um my my car so car fund and then fix uh, radiator so I've changed my mind on my savings. I'm now wanting to fix my radiator. And now it's no longer a traveling fund. It's a car fund because oh, spelt fun. <laughs> it's a car fund because that is more important to me than traveling. I will then go to my dashboard over here. And as you can see, it has changed to car fund over here. When I also change the date, I want to make sure that my car is fixed by July. So let's change it to the end of July. So let's say July. 26 i want to reach my goal you can definitely edit the titles here but don't touch it here remember you're going to edit it under instructions and then over here this is automated it's going to show you with each challenge and as you can see over here it just moves around its own way um, with each saving challenge here 
10 rand, 20 rand, etc. This is how much you have set to save, the 1.5, and this is how much is left in that 1.5 to save. So that one is nice because it keeps you on track. This is now an overview of your challenges, what was your goal amount and how much you have left to save yes you have your graph over here but you also have like an overview of each challenge of how much you have um, saved and what's the goal and over here you've got that big pie chart you can hover on top of it like that and it tells you with voucher this is how much you have to go with 10 rand this is how much you have to go left to save basically Okay, I hope this was very helpful.